The Greatest Benefit to Mankind, A Medical History of Humanity from Antiquity to Present. This is written by Roy Porter, and this edition in two volumes is put out by the Folio Society. You can get this book in one volume. Folio Society has done it in two. It's got these paper sides and then quarter bound in this cloth. I like the look of it. The two volumes are different, as you can see, front and back. I like the way they look. I think they're cool, these old fashioned kind of things. The slip cover itself also has a, this is an illustration of a needle, well, obviously, uh, not just the needle, but the whole shebang. I don't know what we call it. And then here's a, another one on the other side. Something interesting about these two books, which I have not read yet, these two volumes, is I don't see any indication at all about which one is volume one and which one is volume two. I guess it doesn't matter very much once you figure it out, which you can do, because one of them has an introduction and you know it's obviously the beginning and doesn't start on page 300 something, you see. Uh, so this is obviously volume two, and when I put it in the slipcover, I'll just put it to the right. After all, I read in English left to right. But, uh, but it's, and so when it's in the slipcover, it'll look like this, and that'll be one, and that'll be two. That will be one, and that will be two. But it's a little strange. Um, I don't have a problem with it. It's just, I don't know. I noticed it. Anyway, the books themselves. Okay. I really like the way that they're bound. Or the, the, I like the illustrations. I like the way that they feel. I like the cloth. Um, they're sewn binding, as always with the Folio Society. And let's have a look at some of the illustrations inside. But I warn you now that this is a history of medicine, and that means that some of the images in here, I'm just going to try to flip through them at random, and I'm not specifically looking for shocking ones, but some of them might be shocking. So uh, I warn you now, and if you want to skip ahead, if you're that kind of you have that kind of stomach, then maybe you should do so, or skip to the end, or just turn off the video altogether. So I will say, okay, the paper itself is this, it's not a bright white paper, it's this, it's not quite yellow, but a hint of yellow. The paper is not thin, but it's not especially thick. Which is a little surprising when you take one book and turn it into two, that uh, they, they didn't have thicker paper. So throughout what they've got, they don't have illustrations throughout. They have sections where there are several different kinds of, uh, or several different illustrations. Some of these are old. The illustrations themselves are old. There's someone bloodletting. Um, but some of them are, are more recent. So you never know, I mean, maybe you do know when you're reading it, what you're going to get. Um, you might just turn the page and find something, some, I think there's one of a 10 year old with smallpox and he's, his face is covered with smallpox. Uh, with His face is covered with pustules and it is, not very nice. Or there's one where someone has elephantiasis of the leg, and it is interesting to see it, but it also can be shocking and upsetting. I haven't read the book. It's I haven't. It, it's supposed to be very good, very interesting, and. I'm really looking forward to it, but I haven't read it yet. I really like the binding. I like this color. Let's see if I can give you some of the texture of the cloth there. So there's a bit of black shining through too. Yeah, I, I like the way it looks. I think it's great. And I like the slip cover as well. So that's the greatest benefit to mankind. the sides as well.
by Roy Porter, put out by the Folio Society.